tēnā koutou katoa, I signing atai from Rotorua Aotearoa. I'm in the coldest, windiest and driest place on earth. No my hare mai ki te tiri o te moana. Welcome to Antarctica. Come with me as we go and explore this magical place and learn more about science on ice. Kilda. This Tony Father plane behind me is the US Air Force C 17 Globemaster and our waka to the ice. They're hurrying us along, so I better grab my stuff and I'll see you there. Once on board, it was time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight, or 3,800 kilometers of it, from Christchurch to Ross Island, Antarctica. No in-flight movies here, so I thought I'd catch a bit of moi. Five and a half hours later, touchdown, and we were there. Wow, wow, so white, so cold, and so windy. It felt amazing to be here, and the travel wasn't over yet. Time to catch a ride to Scott Base, home away from home for all Kiwis who travel to the ice. This is the world's last great wilderness. There is so much to see, so much to do, heaps of animals to meet and even more to learn. I don't know what Maui did here, but the sun never sleeps. In all honesty, I just feel really happy. It's just amazing. Like you just feel so pumped to be at the bottom of the planet. Let's see if I can survive here on Te Tiri o Te Moana, a.k.a. Antarctica. Well, no my heart and mind to what will be our campsite for tonight. Every person that comes to Scott Base is required to spend two days out in the elements learning how to survive in this extreme environment. One of the things you need to do here to survive on the ice is build your own fare. So I'm going to do that now. Antarctica is the windiest place on earth. I need to protect my fare from the winds of Tawhiri Matia. So to do that, I need to make sure that my tent is weatherproof so I have a good night's rest. Next up, we're going to build our whare kai, aka our kitchen, so that we can have a kai here out in the wilderness. It's actually dinner time, even though it looks like it's morning. It's really, really late, and it's time to have some food. It's DIY dinner around here. On the menu tonight, Thai lamb curry, ready to heat and eat. And it's reka and our wall provided some good shelter for some outdoor dining with new friends. And after our kai, we took an evening hikoi up Castle Rock for some epic views. I'm new to this ice business, and staying upright was a bit of a challenge. It's very slippery. We've just climbed halfway up Castle Rock and Mark there's just snow everywhere. It's just really nice to breathe in the air up here. This must be what fresh air smells like. night time now, 1am in the morning. The sun will not set today or tomorrow or any time that I'm here because it's 24 hours daylight. Daytime sleeping <laughs> for Mari. It's day two and very windy. Time to see some seals. Oh, Simon. How are you? G'day, I'm good, man. How are you going? Hey, I'm good. Now, I've been told that you're a seal whisperer. So can you tell me, what are these seals up to? Well, I'm not sure I'm a seal whisperer, but I can tell you about these guys in behind us. These are a couple of Weddell seals. The one on the left is an adult female, and the one on the right is her young pup. 
Why are weddell seals so cool? Well, they're kind of cool because they're the most southern living mammal on Earth. You can't really go much further south than these guys do. They breed here on the ice, feed underneath the ice. They're pretty amazing. Whoa. That's pretty cool. They're very big. <laughs> yeah. So this is probably a large male on the right here, and then to the left is a female and her pup. They're sleeping up here. But it's not till they get down under the ice that they kind of come alive, I reckon. They can eat krill, kind of shrimp, they eat a range of different fishes. But they're not only feeding under there, they're socialising. You can sometimes hear them calling through the ice if you listen carefully. It's a pretty extraordinary environment for them. Why are you studying them? Well, we're trying to look at two questions, really. Mm -hmm. um, the main one is about how effective the Ross Sea Marine Protected Area is in protecting the foraging area, the feeding area of these animals. And the second one really is collecting information that help us interpret potential effects of climate change on these guys. What effects do climate change have on the survival of weddell seals? The honest answer is we don't really know, but likely increased temperature is going to lead to reduced ice levels, and because they're ice-breeding seals, it's kind of important for them that have less habitat to breed on, and because they feed on the prey under the ice, yeah. if that goes, that's likely to change, so they may not have as abundant food sources as they do now. It's kind of, yeah, uncertain future for them. Now that we've seen the seals, let's hear from them. <laughs> Kia ora, Alison. What are you up to? Hi there. I am trying to record the sounds of seals. I gather you've been hanging out with the seals. I have been, but I really want to know what's happening under the ice. Well, so do I, and I'm hoping that this will be able to tell us. What is this? It's a hydrophone, an underwater microphone. Could you feed that down into that hole in the ice? I'd love to. OK, so I'll stand here, and okay. you can drop that in the hole. Right. Don't fall in. <laughs> <laughs> Feed the cable down. OK, that'll do. That's good. OK. Ooh, I'm thinking we might have something. Really? Do you want to have a listen? Yes, please. Is it dip? That's the seals. Oh, whoa! No way that is them. It absolutely is. Wow, that's amazing. So there's all sorts of sounds down there, yeah. aren't there? Because when you look at the seals now, you don't think that they're up to very much, but under there, they must be having a good old time. Under there, I think if you could dive under the ice, you would see a seal ballet that would be like they're beautiful and graceful, and they've got their own party music going on, this own special Weddell Seal Symphony. Yeah, it's amazing. E Huoma, I didn't know that Kekeno seals have such an important role to play in teaching us about climate change. Wow. What an amazing day. And with Tamanu Dara showing no signs of setting, Woo! I can be sure tomorrow will bring a whole new adventure. Ngā Tiro Mihi, New Zealand on air.